Good morning, everybody. This is Nikki. Thanks for joining me for a reading. Thank you all for being so supportive on my channel. I'm going to get started here. This is going to be a message about you. What is going on with you? This is a collective read. Please take what you need and leave the rest. What is going on with you? Okay. Spirit guys and angels, give me a message for the collective. What is going on with you? This is a um, timeless message. We have the devil card, you all. What is going on with you here? We have the two of wands. Okay? Decisions that you have to make after something really happened to you. Something toxic, something negative. But you're trying to figure out how can I get past this. Okay? Yeah. Got the nine of, of swords here. Okay? And I got some, some pretty cool cards, you all, that I could not wait to use. The Golden Girls Tarot Card. Okay? Uh, so, I love the Golden Girls. And I definitely wanted to get this deck when I ran across it. So, I'm going to see what messages we have here from the Golden Girls here for you all. We have the Devil Card, the Two of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. There's something that happened to you. Okay? In your life right now, you're trying to figure out how can I ever get past this? Will I ever get past this? Because we got the Nine of Swords. And it's really bothering you. It's really, really hurting you, bothering you, keeping you up at night. Okay? What is really going on with you? Okay? What is going on with the person that's watching this reading? I hope it resonates. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. You're holding on to this, though, too. Okay? This is a, situ this is a situation where whatever it is you're doing, whatever brought you to this moment you can let it go um and you're holding on to it because you're still thinking about it some aspects may be good some aspects may be bad but the fact of the matter is you're holding on to it and it's possible that you should let it go okay or you have another path we have temperance okay you are going back and forth between the dark and the light of this situation okay you're trying to figure out what should you do and we have the four of wands here okay four of wands probably worrying about a relationship that you were in with someone or care, somebody you cared about here, okay? Somebody you had nice times with you up at night and you're thinking about how good it was with this person, you know, but <clears throat> evidently there was something toxic. What is this devil part about? What is this devil part about for the collective here? Judgment court, okay? Maybe you should have left this person or left this situation sooner than you did. And then you wouldn't be in the situation that you're in right now. Okay? The Ace of Wands. A new pathway, though. Ace of Swords. Blessings here. And we have the Lovers. Okay? You let go of a person who treated you bad, who was not fair to you or whatever. Now you're up thinking about this person. Did I do something wrong for this person to hurt me, to break up with me, to do whatever they did to you? You're questioning yourself when the biggest thing that you could have possibly done was let this person go. The most important thing you could have done was let this person go. May have been, may have been heart shattering and earth shattering, but you needed to let this, this energy go. And we have here the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands. This person, kind of like they faked it until they made it. They faked it until they got deep into the relationship with you, and then they backed the hell up like, that's not what I wanted. Look, five of cups. That's really not what I wanted. I wasn't ready for what you were ready for, okay? And that left you hurting. That left you crying. That left you in shambles. But you got love coming your way. Because <clears throat> we have here five of cups. You're worried about what you no longer have. But look, you got some top shelf love coming for you. Top shelf love here with the lover's card. No need to worry, okay? You may not, <clears throat> excuse me, you, right, you may not feel it right now, but that's what's going on with you. You have a new life of love coming for you, okay? You may not see it right now because you're still tripping off whoever, okay? And we have the three of pentacles, okay? Work hard at trying to find something that you like to do. Work hard with some friends. Maybe start a business with somebody. Maybe somebody wants to start a pastry business or uh selling candy or whatever it is you want to do personal goods or something put yourself out there with a couple of friends and start a business to get your mind off of your heartache and pain we have the knight of swords be be um here in my head be industrious find something that's going to make you money and that's going to make you forget all about that dude or whoever hurt who hurt you okay we have eight of wands with some fast communication coming in and we have a six of wands 
It's like you're going to be, your life is going to be balanced out without this person in it. This person kept you unbalanced, okay? You felt unbalanced around this person, uneasy around this person, and this person just made, made your life a living hell, okay? With this person's energy leaving out of your life, this is the perfect opportunity for you to redo you all over again, okay? Five of Wands. And we have the four of wands. So you're still thinking and resting on this person and you really maybe have had some arguments <clears throat> with your friends and family because you haven't you haven't like haven't felt like being bothered. Okay. Well just leave me alone, go do what you gotta do or whatever. No, I don't wanna go out. I don't wanna go out with the girls, or I don't wanna hang out with the guys or whatever, because you're still fretting over this guy who hurt you or the girl who hurt you. Okay. You're casting out some friends and not because you don't really love them or care about them. You just don't want to be bothered. You just want to chill out and rest and feel sorry for yourself. Get over it, okay? You don't have to feel sorry for yourself. Just keep on living. And we have here the Hermit card. This is definitely where you want to do. You're wanting to go in and do some self-reflection. What is it that I need to fix? What is it that you need to fix? Because you're wanting to know what is going on with you. What is it that you need to fix right now? The Three of Swords. Concentrate on healing your broken heart. Damn. <laughs> Concentrate while you're in reflective mode on con on getting over your broken heart. Okay? It's always you're the one that's always getting hurt in the relationship. You're all the, always the one in the relationship who can't seem to keep a man or keep a woman. Something always getting wrong. Is always wrong. Well, how come you can't keep a man? What happened? Or how come you can't keep a woman? What did you do this time? It's not always your mistake. It's not always your fault. People don't realize that about you. Okay? What is going on with you? All right, Spirit Guys. Give me more messages for the collective. What is going on with you? I, I still have openings for readings, you all. The information is below this reading on how to contact me for a reading. What is going on with you? Okay. What is going on with you? The High Priestess. Beautiful person. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Getting better. You already know in your life that things are getting better for you. You have your, it's like you have your, your just the whole, whoever you are on the pulse of society. Things are going to get very well for you financially. Uh, if you're low on finances right now, or if you're worried about income, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. That's not going to be that way for a long time, okay? Because you have some kind of offer coming in <clears throat> from a male. Maybe a job interview, or somebody you know really well is going to offer you some kind of financial blessing, okay? A job in itself is a financial blessing, if it's something that you really like to do. And you're having to manifest this. We have an Eight of Cups. You already know, being the high priestess, that you have to clear your energy of this person or situation that no longer serves your glory. We have the four of swords here. Okay, you're going to always carry a little of this pain around with you. You're going to think about this person from time to time, but you feel free to move on with your life. And we have the six of cups. Moving on, happy with somebody else. Living a life. It's, it's like you're going to feel like your life is full of luxury when you meet this this, this man that's destined to be in your life. Destiny. Amazingly beautiful connection that you have coming your way. Never ever doubt the, the glory of love. Okay? We have the nine of wands. You know you need to come out of you know you need to come out of your high priestess energy is telling you, I need to back up and start all over again. Even if I have to start from zero, I need to get there. Because I'm giving so little of myself to the people I love. I'm giving so little to the stuff, up, so little of myself to the things that I used to love. What is it that you used to love to do that you no longer do? Think about it. You backed up from it when you got that broken heart. And you're reminding yourself, shit, I need to, I need to get back to where I need to be. Because you know you need to come out of this. You put yourself in, you're fighting yourself, and you're like, man, I'm angry with myself. I need to hit myself over the head. What the heck am I doing? I let this person tear me down and keep me down. And I need to figure out how to find myself again. How do I do that? How do I temper the good with the bad? How do I balance out the bitter with the sweet? You can do it. You've done it before. You can do it again. More messages here for the collective here. And we have here. See, you holding yourself back. 
unconsciously you are holding yourself and you know this i know that there's something i need to do there was something that you used to do that you used to absolutely love doing that you no longer do or you have let your health fail in some way and you need to get back to doing what you do what you did to keep you healthy okay and we have here the eight of pentacles doing what you love what is it that you love to do what is it that you love to create something that's going to make you money okay and, and letting go of, of the situation that no longer serves your glory, your good. Letting the past go. Walk away from it. You know, Walk away from it me mentally, physically, and emotionally. You walk away from it every in every way possible. Okay? Got to have my coffee in the morning, y'all. More messages here for what is going on with you. And we have a magician. You can do it. You can do this. You can figure out how to how to elevate yourself away from this issue, this person, whoever you're you're clearing your energy around, and it's in you already. I'm, I'm <laughs> got the ten of pentacles, happiness. You know, money does not grow on trees, but it looks like for you something's gonna be happening. Okay, you're gonna have more fruit, more abundance in your bounty. Okay, your future is going to be very bountiful. Okay, bountiful, bountiful enough for you to share. Okay, I'm gonna say something where I hear, you know, I, I hear stuff in my head, and when I hear it, the way I hear it in my head, I have to kind of like censor it. But for some of you ladies, I'm hearing, even though it's not here, but for, when I saw this card, that's what I thought about. For some of you ladies, I'm telling you what I hear in my head for you don't allow cobwebs to grow around your coochie. Did you hear me? Don't allow cobwebs to grow around your coochie. Some of you are not having sex. You hear Sophia? Some of y'all are not having sex. Okay? Hmm. Get you a nice drink. I'm not saying make a booty call, y'all. How, however. But anyway, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna go there. But don't allow cobwebs to grow down there, is all I'm gonna say. Okay. More messages here for the collective. What is going on with you? Judgment. Don't judge this situation. Don't let the, the judgment that didn't turn out right in your favor, don't let it keep you down. Move, move on away from it. Find a way to move away from it. Okay? And we have here the King of Pentacles. Okay, you're going to find money. Money's going to find you. Income is going to find you. That person is going to find you. What is the Six of Cups about? Clarify the Six of Cups for the collective. What is going on with you? Oh, the lovers. Here we go again. Six of Cups, true love, the lovers. You're going to let go of somebody who no longer served you, and you're going to meet your true love after this pain. Let go of him or her because you got somebody brand new, worth waiting for coming into your life, and that's going to be that person you're going to grow old with. I'm hearing in my head, that's just an old song. I think Mary Shaping Carpenter sings it, because I like soft rock, y'all. But grow all along with me, the best is yet to be. Mm, mm, mm. This person is going to want you to, to grow all along with them. The best is yet to be. So cheer up, buttercups. Whatever it is you're doing, cheer up. Things are going to get so much better for all of us. For all of us, okay? I'm going to get one more card, because I like this deck already. One more card for the collective. And we have Ace of Cups. Everything's going to be just fine. Total new transformation for you. All right? I hope this message resonates with you all. Thank you so much. If you're interested in personals, the information is below. All right? TTFN. I left my mouse at my mother's house, so I got to toggle with this thing. Talk to y'all later.